thanks very much for having me here today. Um, so I'm going to be talking about Sydney Renewable Power Company, uh, which is a 520 kilowatt solar installation on the new uh, International Convention Centre in Sydney and Darwin Harbour. Um, I think there's a couple of important things in terms of what we've done with this project that, that I'd like to emphasise. One of which is we've structured this as a public company because we really wanted to involve anyone and everyone in the project in terms of investment. Uh, so to my knowledge this is the first time that uh, a, a community energy project has been set up this way um, in the country and it did mean that we did do a lot of work but it's something that we you know, really wanted to make sure that we would include people um, particularly those who couldn't access solar on their own rooftops, like renters and apartment dwellers within um, the community solar field. So what we've achieved so far is um, we've, we've put solar across here, here, and there's another installation just there. Um, I just really wanted to use the laser. It's so quite lucky we had a good reason to. Um, and you can see there's quite a bit of shading someone stuck a 25 story hotel in front of our array um, when we were designing the thing but one of the, I guess one of the important lessons there is that we emphasise the power output in terms of our solar project, not a capacity. Um, so when the design for the site changed um, we were able to expand the footprint of the solar installation from 400 kilowatts to 520 and, and it didn't affect our business model which was good. Um, in, in terms of some of the features, I'll, I'll just sort of focus on a couple of the things that we've done that hopefully is useful in terms of lessons. Um, we are a volunteer-run for-profit company. Uh, it, everything has been done by volunteer labour all along. We're very focused on creating this as a financially viable structure. We didn't want to ask for charity. We thought that you know the, the scale of the transition to renewable energy or to a low carbon economy is beyond charity. It, it really needs investment. We really wanted to sort of take that approach, um, and we wanted to catalyse that enthusiasm within the community to create the structure. So everything has been run and will be run with volunteer labour. We we set up at the end of 2012. We did a lot of contracting in 2013 engineering work in 2014 and then preparing for the share offer in 2015. The project started generating at the end of 2016 and our share offer was shutting in two weeks time in March. Uh, the project will be operating until um, over a 25 year life which is integrated with the operations of the convention centre so it will operate until 2041 and we're cash flow positive as of right now and we've got projected financial returns, which you can see in the share offer document that's available on the web. Um, to give you a feel for how we've gone about that, we have six major contracts that we've put together, which we're very happy to share with anyone who wants to do a project themselves. Um, there's over 200, I think there's 225 pages of um, contracts that we've had to pull together, so that goes across constitutions, off-take agreement, um, you know, a share of the document, so on and so forth. There's a, there's a technical model about the generation profile and there's a 28-year business model that's, you know, structured on a monthly basis that, that basically maps out the entire operations of the project. Um, so to pull all of that together, we've, we've largely done that with a board, that, a volunteer board that's sort of acted in executive capacities. We've drawn across sort of a multidisciplinary pool of people. So we've got, you know, legal accounting, engineering, communications, general management, finance backgrounds involved. Um, we've drawn upon a greater pool of volunteers beyond that, but a lot of the day-to-day -day heavy lifting has been done by a core group of six board members throughout the project. Um, we've, you know, again, just to give people a feel of what has been involved in our case, hopefully it'll be a lot quicker and easier for other people. We've met, I think we've got 76 minutes at board meetings now. Um, you know, we estimate there's over a thousand volunteer hours of contribution. Um, there are, you know, I've got two 
thousand, nearly three thousand emails filed away about the project. So you know that you need to draw upon from time to time. So there's a lot of work that's gone in, but we found it very easy to access skills because people have liked what we wanted to know. And, you know, I've, I've, I've used this bad analogy on a few occasions, but if we were setting up a volunteer coal seam gas project, we'd be pretty lonely. Um, but you know, as it is, we've been able to draw upon a lot of support. Um, throughout the community because they, they care about renewable energy and they want to see this come about. Um, we focused on a you know, clear, viable governance model. We've been very clear about what we wanted to do throughout the process. The share offer has been very challenging and difficult. We've worked with someone with um, a financial license as we've gone along um, because we can't give financial advice. We, we're not regulated to do so and we've drawn upon people for that reason. And um, that, that's been, you know, don't underestimate how hard it is to do a public share offer. Uh, and lastly, you know, we've mapped everything out throughout the project life. So, um, you know, we've had a clear plan throughout the project, not only for now, but also for, you know, how the thing winds up in um, 25 years' time. So, lastly, if you are interested in investing, we are oversubscribed, but we've designed this to involve as many people as possible. So, if you're interested in participating, please go to our website.